You know, the world is in a pretty tumultuous time right now. There's a pandemic going on. People are frightened. Governments are either doing decently at it or poorly, depending where you are. And everyone is hoarding toilet paper for some reason. So in light of that, I think we just kind of need to sit back, relax, and do a little stash cleaning. My stash has become a little bit of a mess. I'm not going to lie. It's it's kind of dirty. So, what we're going to do today is just kind of we're going to sell some th some things off. We're going to move some things around. Figure out what we want to keep, what we don't want to keep. Just just enjoy ourselves. Good. Put that in there so that way it's out of the way. We do want to keep that. All right, so the basic thing that I'm going to think about during this is all of these things that I have now, have I ever used them? Will I ever use them again? Is there any reason for me to keep them around? Now, obviously, the medications are going to be an easy thing to deal with, so let's go ahead and deal with that first. We have, so I've been keeping around these AI2s because I was going to use them for healing myself after a raid. Well, now... If I switch to medical here, now well, that's mods, that's medical, that's kind of confusing. I do believe we actually, yeah, we have two grizzlies. Those grizzlies will reheal us for quite a while. So there's no real reason, whoops, there's no real reason to hang on to these AI2s. Likewise, these stims, while I'm sure they're great, and with the changes that they've apparently made to the game, which I haven't done yet, I haven't tried any of the changes yet. It's going to be interesting. But they split the arm and leg uh, stamina. And maybe those come in handy now. But I've never actually used them, so I don't really know. And probably whenever will. So we're going to go ahead and take those out. We will put in... All right, so let's see. Let's stack these. Let us put the two grizzlies together. That'll be a good start. Uh, do we need all the painkillers? Do we need all the ibuprofens? I mean, we have... Realistically, we have not gone through half of those ibuprofen. Is there any real reason to keep these two when I just have that one for a spare? I don't think so. We'll go ahead and keep these two syringes and two blood sets in case we have to trade them in for something. The splints do come in handy. We'll keep those refreshed. We do have one Golden Star and one Vaseline. That's fine. So the Sailawas are good to have. We really don't need the car if we have the Sailawas. So let's go ahead and get the Sailawas going over here. We may keep the car just for a junk run or something. I don't know. But we also have Ifax. And in fact, we have, if I remember correctly, two of these and two of these. Let's go take a look real quick in the hideout. I do believe I can turn those into two more IFAX. If I go over to the med station here. Uh, yes, two and two. Need power. Hmm. All right, we'll have to pick up some power. We'll do that here in a minute. Right now, let's see what other kind of medications we have that we can put inside of our case. There we go. All right, so we have the Augmentin. We'll put that right there for now, just as a keepsake. Those will be gone as soon as we get power. That appears to be just about it. I guess we'll hang on to the car for now. Uh, we may want to keep a few of the painkillers. So let's go ahead and open up the pokies again. We'll just backfill this with the painkillers and leave those at that. The rest of them we will sell. All right, so there is our first set of items to sell. We'll go ahead and sell those over. Let's move this down here just so we have enough room to drop all this stuff in. There we are. And we will go ahead and sell these. There we are.
So there's 102,000 rubles just from that. There we go. All right. So our medication is out of the way. Let's go ahead. Since we are done with the medication, we'll put it down here. Anything we're done with, we'll keep down there. What do we have in here? Nothing in there. Nothing in there. So let's go ahead and stack those up and put those in our little inception bag there and we'll put the bag down here signifying that it's done next up we have the pew pews and the more pew pews once again i look at all of these attachments and think am i ever actually going to use any of them have i before this ak this amm for instance or the dovetail i've never actually like sought them out in my case to use them so not a huge reason to keep them around to be perfectly honest we can put the buttstock on there, so at least we have that. This entire weapon, I don't even know if I'd ever take this weapon out, to be perfectly honest. I may. I may. So let's go ahead and figure out what we want to keep around. The dovetail and the AMM we will get rid of. The AS Val will hang on to because we may actually mod it at some point. This Mosin will hang on to because it's actually modified. This Mosin we will not. Uh, this SKS, we can buy an SKS at any point in time, so we can sell that off. Uh, the shotguns, likewise, I really haven't had a... I may keep those for a factory run or two. The TT, I will not use again. Uh, we'll hang on to you. We'll hang on to you just for the memes. All right. Uh, anything else that we want to hang on to, really? Doesn't seem like it. We do have this A, this M4 that I've had forever in a day that I haven't even attempted to modify. So, do we want to actually hang on to it? It does have a front system on it already. So it's partially modified with this CAC RIS. So it's one less piece we would need. Actually has a decent butt stock as well. Yeah, we'll hang on to it. We'll make something out of it. We'll hang on to the Bravo because that's just a nice scope to have all together. The monster we found out we did not care for exactly. So let's go ahead and figure out what we want to get rid of here. I do want to get rid of that weapon, but I need the room first. So that's really not necessary to hang on to none of these are really necessary to hang on to because i can purchase them all right so let's go ahead and sell those real quick we'll sell those to skier everything that we can anyways it's another hundred and twenty seven thousand rubles right there We'll go ahead and sell those off there. And we'll go ahead and sell those as well since they're there. Okay. Making some decent money now. Uh, do we need... No, we're still doing the attachments. So let's see if there's any other attachments to deal with. We have the two more weapons there to get rid of. We have another PK-06, which we can actually drop that onto this shotgun. We have this angled rail which I may just put onto here. Oh, it's not an angle boy. Oh, no, well, that's fine. That's still fine. We're gonna put that up there. Uh, yeah, so... Any other attachments that we wanna get rid of? Let's see here. Oh, we do have this little guy here that we could put into this case. Maybe this case? Mm. Let's see here. Mm. Yeah. Either or, it doesn't really matter. In fact, let's go ahead, just for safe space, or space saving rather. Let's go ahead and take this out. There we go, we have one more slot. And then we can put this little goofy guy right there. There we go. Beautiful. In fact, let's get these so they're evenly height. There we go. All right. Oops, nope, nope. 
so why do I have this? That is a strange thing to have. All right, so let's take a look at our armor real quick. We don't have a lot. In fact, we can slap that on there just for storage purposes. Uh, we have this armor here. This is... Inspect. this is a class four. It only has four slots though. This would be something I'd take out on like a Mosin run maybe, but we'll hang on to it. We have this, which is a four as well. The thorax and stomach. What does this one do? Thorax and stomach. All right. But this guy doesn't really have much of anything left on him. Does it really worth hanging on to? Like that's basically one shot, right? I think we can get rid of this. I think we can. Uh, I think we can repair it and sell it. I also need to sell off the rest of those guns. Remind me to do that. All right, so our paltry armor here really don't have a lot. Burnt through a lot of our armor. Plus, I do often not loot it because it takes up so much space. All right, so let's sell what we can to you. We'll give the rest to you. Oh, what's this? A Katopka grenade. A do it yourself hand grenade based on the VOG 17. The removal, the removed head part containing the detonator and the self destructor. Huh. Interesting. That trades for a fuse. Okay. Sweet. All right. So, actually, hang on. Who will take? Will you take? You will not take that. Jaeger? No. Mechanic? No. Peacekeeper? Is this going to be a fence thing? It's going to be a fence thing. Yep. Alright, well let's go ahead and sell it to fence. Thank you for your patronage. And then we also have our contacts. We have a few of those actually, surprising. Still do love me some swordens. They are the best contact in the game in my personal experience. Alright, uh, do we have anything in these? That one we don't, so we'll move that down here. Not sure why I'm keeping this ghost. I only wear the balala. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. This... I can't... I don't know if I can justify hanging onto this belt rig anymore. Like... I've never once used it. It has so many slots. This would probably be something I'd just take in for like a uh, lab raid. Where if I lose it, oh well, no big deal. And if I don't, then great. Ah, see I knew there was something in one of these. In two of these. We have 5.7 clips, mags, whatever. And MPX mags. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. And likewise this. So, realistically, do I want to hang on to any of these, any of these magazines? I guess it wouldn't be a terrible idea. First off, let's take this off so that way we can sort purely in the backpack. So, if we're going for magazines only... All right, we got some M80 rounds here, apparently. The banger box is full. We're going to have to deal with that. Wow, it really is full. I'm going to have to parse through that stuff because I'm sure I'm not going to use half of it. Uh, okay, so... Let's see, what do we want to keep from the magazines? Well, we have the Val, so it may not hurt to hang on to... In fact, let's do this. We'll hang on to these for the Val. No, if we were going to run the Val, we'd go and buy the 30 rounders. There's no reason for us to hang on to those 20 rounders. That's actually gimping us in a way. Uh, that's BP rounds. We'll definitely hang on to those. So the SKS are decent to have. We'll hang on to those. Generally, if we take out an AK, we'd be grabbing ourselves one of the, uh, or a few of the ice cream cones. This, however, 
That's not bad. Maybe we hang on to these. Maybe we do actually use those. Because the 60 rounders, while well, they're great for a, you know, long battle, take forever to reload. And the MPX, we don't even have an MPX. There's no reason to hang on to those. So let's go ahead and sell all that off. Uh, skier? No. Mechanic. Actually, you know what? We're going to sell those. The Peacekeeper. We gotta get our dealings up with Peacekeeper a little bit. We're close. We're close. Alright, so that takes... Oh, we got that, but that's our Black Rock. That's fine. And the 5-7 mags. Uh, the 5-7 mags we'll just put in here, because we will end up running another 5-7. That is an inevitability. It is a fantastic pistol. This A2607 immediately. Let's just get rid of it. I don't know why I have it. Strangest thing. All right. So we're getting down to the nitty gritty now. The keys. I don't know what to do with the keys. Do I just go and buy another key fob? How much are these going for these days? I. What? I am confused. What what is happening? Hang on. Five hundred and fifty thousand rubles. Just for organizational purposes, that doesn't seem bad, but I'm I'm feeling like I need to find one as opposed to just doing that. We'll add the lab key card to that list. So these guys, let's figure out. Let's go ahead and just put the keys over here. We'll put the two factory. Let's put the usable key or the one-time use keys or, you know, however many use keys over on this side. And then the other side, we'll put the regular keys. I need to go through and see. I don't need a second cabin key, so that can be sold. If there's any reason for me to hang on to half of these keys... Yeah, we'll do that. Because truth be told, I'm sure half of those keys are not worth the storage space. We have food. We have vodka. Which I have this other vodka down here that I don't need. We'll hang on to the filters because I think those will come in handy for the water filtration. Let's go ahead and do a quick... These aren't going for quite as much as they used to. That's surprising. Where did you go? There you are. But still, we'll put you up for 18.5. We have a paracord here. Is that our only paracord? That is our only paracord, so we will not sell that because that will be useful if we ever actually go to reserve. Let's see how much the vodka is going for. Okay. All right. We'll put both of those up there. We'll put those up for 18.5 a piece. Okay, so let's deal with our food. We have a massive amount of food. We rarely, we rarely ever have to drink when we come out of raid. In fact, it's better not to. So I think the only thing we're going to keep is the aquamarines. Everything else was, we're going to sell. We'll hang on to a lunchbox because a couple of lunchboxes. Because the lunchboxes are fantastic for quick energy. So... If we ever have a super long raid, and then we want to go immediately into another one, we could just take a lunchbox in with us and be fine. Everything else, the tar cola we will sell on the thing. The squash as well, I think, goes for something. Everything else I'm not too uh, concerned about, so we'll just uh, sell those off. Let's see what the squash is going for. 
All right, so we can do another 18.5 on here. And the Tarcola is going for 17.5. That's gone down in price a bit. It used to be going for in the 20s. But hey, money is money. All right. So, and we have peas here as well. So let's go ahead and sell off our food. And the ski. Okay. So, what else do we have to work with? Well, I think we're down to the nitty gritty here. I think we're down to the scav junk box. And looking at the scav junk box, realistically, there's a lot of stuff in here that I have no reason to hold on to. And wow, when I drag this, it kills my frame rate. Down to 22. Yikes. <laughs> that's, that's a strange one. All right, so let's figure out the things that we actually want to keep. So let's uh, go for the flash drive. We're gonna just kind of organize over here. Anything over here is something we're gonna hang on to. I feel like having the two fuel conditioners is not a terrible idea. The vase is probably good. We'll hang on to a couple of the military cables. The MGT, one of the thermometers. I don't think the broken LCD is useful. I think these come up in a quest line at some point. So we'll hang on to those. We have another Bitcoin and a uh, Gopnik? Gopnik coin. We have the Leon, the clock, and uh, we'll hang on to a gold chain, LCD. We'll do one of each gunpowder, just because we have another Bitcoin there. We have another gold chain. Realistically, I'm not entirely sure what I need to hang on to. Um, and I will probably anger a lot of people with selling a lot of this stuff off, but at the same time, that's why I'm here, to sell stuff off. So let's go into the hideout real quick and just see what sort of things we need for upgrades. So we need two nippers, or the pliers elite, so we'll hang on to that. Okay. Uh, we need the flash drive and the hard drive. Those will be easier to come by. Lavatory is maxed out. Anything we can craft theoretically here? Uh, if we get more of these, okay, so let's keep the metal cutting scissors. And we'll hang on to that. We can get ourselves a magazine case. All right. We need... We'll hang on to the relays. And more of the elites, so we'll hang on to four elites if we have them. And the sodium. Okay, well, now we know. We'll hang on to the sodiums. Do we have four elites? Let's find out. We have two. Hang on to the roller. Hang on to the filter. Realistically, I mean, do we need to hang on to anything else in here? I guess we could keep the hard drive and the medium scissors, but it seems like everything else is just kind of unnecessary. Now, that's not to say. I'll hang on to the power bank, so I'll hang on to the flash drive. Get the relay. That's not to say that any of this might not come up in a future quest line. That's very much a thing that could happen. 
We'll hang on to the meds because we can craft more with that. Do we have any room in our med case? It's all the way down at the bottom. We'll go ahead and just put those in there for now. Okay. Anything else? I, I don't even know if it's worth... We're going to put these down at the bottom here. And somebody tell me if they're even worth hanging on to. Because I'm pretty sure they have no use anymore. They're just there for fun. And they're not going to be helpful in any way. Uh, everything else is stuff that I can basically find at any point in time. Maybe the D maybe we'll hang on to the D fuel. D fuel does kind of come up sparsely, but uh, yeah, everything else here is pretty much findable any day of the week. Although I think we need the horses for a quest, or not a quest, but a turn in. There's something that we can build with those. What was that? Uh, may have been... Ragman? No, it wouldn't have been Ragman. Who would have had that? Oh! What a cute little rig. Alright, so if we want to keep the ES lamps, that's okay. That's a good trade. Four ES lamps for a camelback. We'll have to remember that one. Was there some other... I swear, she had a trade. Somebody had a trade for those clocks and everything. I'd really like to know why my frames keep dipping. This is... This is strange. Checkpoint. Manuals, vodkas, tachanka. Maybe. Oh, he had fuel. Right. What are the fuel trades? 15 matches. Or I could just buy two of those. I mean, we did need fuel. Matches. Those are... Those are different. Alright. So... I wonder where that trade went. I... I'm almost positive it was her. Right. Right. So we just need a cat. And then we can get the documents case. Let's just, uh, casual peek here. Cat. Cat figurine. There we go. We can drop these horses back over here. Okay. Trading. Therapist. And there we go. We have a docks case that we could put keys and other things in. But we can also stash other things within. It can kind of work as a uh, as a wallet as well, so we can definitely use that to our advantage. That'll be nice. Right, so I don't think the clock is worth hanging on to anymore. Hmm, okay. Make a little room here. So that way we can grab the stuff that we want to keep, such as fuel conditioners. We'll keep the vase, because it's pretty. Uh, we'll hang on to the clock just in case. We'll keep uh, a few of the wreck batteries. 
I don't think I've gotten to that quest line yet. We'll keep the military cables, the one thermometer, the elites, the power banks, relays. Okay. Uh, flash drives. Did I not have more than one flash? I thought I had more than one flash. I did. I was right all along. Bitcoins and the Gopnik coin. Go and stack the OFZs up here. Your little gunpowder shuffle. Put the paracord in there as well. We need the sodium. And to the LCD. Uh, roller and filter. Okay, hang on to the hard drive, the two gold chains. The D, actually, let's do this, D fuel. Right now, what I'm basically thinking about is what here is difficult for me to find? We'll hang on to the filter. Uh, doesn't feel like much else here is really that hard. I may hang on to the CPUs. That may not be a terrible idea. And the main reason for that is I'm pretty sure I have not gotten to that collection quest yet. So. We may need those. And the RAM as well. Why not? Just to be on the safe side. Okay. Uh, the meds were hanging out. Oh, we have more stuff down here. So let's see here. The RAM is probably a safe bet. We'll hang on to one Nyxor as well. All right. Everything else here is basically sellable. Let's see how much the military cables are going for. So we could do 31,000 a piece. Auto select similar. So we're gonna offer three of those. 31,000 a piece. Okay. These tapes, not worth the price. These guys are probably going to sell to therapists just fine. Um. Hang out of the circuit boards. What do those sell for with therapists? Let's see here. Seven twenty. Yeah, no. There's definitely a. Uh, there's definitely a use case for that one. So if they're going for ten to eleven thousand each, we'll auto select. We have two. We'll do 11 and see if they come down in price, or come up in price, rather. Then we'll add another offer here and see how much the tubes are going for. 12.5 each. The therapist, 14, so they're better off not being flea marketed. Let's talk about the bolts real quick. The bolts are going for... Okay. And we... Unfortunately, only have one of those. So, 11,000 for that. There we are. What else could potentially go for more on the flea market? Let's see here. Probably not a lot, truth be told. Oh, we have another CPU that we don't want to get rid of. We'll put that down here and down here. Just when you thought you were finished. 
All right, we already have the one medium scissor we need for the uh, turn in, so we could sell that. Uh, I think pretty much everything else is just straight to uh, straight to therapist. So let's go ahead and figure out. We have a hundred one million nine hundred sixty thousand rubles. Nope, we want to hang on to that because that's a trade-in. Okay. 522,661 rubles. Also, my frames are down to 20. That's weird. And now they're fine again. There's something going on with the rendering of that much stuff. I don't know why. Go ahead and receive all of this as well. There we go. So there we go. Just doing a little cleanup. We made a good bit of money. Let's go ahead and get these other CPUs up in here. Hang on to that one ES lamp. That will be the first of many that we decide to hang on to for the tri-zip trade. Uh, I think we're out of space in our Pokebox. Yes. So we can't put the... Well, actually, we don't need to. We could put these meds in here. Is there any more? I thought there was more. Maybe not. Oh well. All right, thing of beauty, thing of beauty. So let's go ahead and reorganize our stash here. The docs case we will fill at a later point. Right now we, oh, I almost forgot. Ah, here's the other ones. We still need to go through and clean out the bang box. This thing is a mess. All right, did that auto stack? I would love it if it did, but I don't think it did. So the rounds that we will definitely use AP 6.3, SS 90, 190, the M, uh, no, we, well, yeah, we'll probably use the M855, uh, 7 and 39, we will eventually touch. Actually, let's put these, let's put the, uh, let's put the AK stuff at the bottom. BT, yes, BP, no. We'll just keep stacking these BTs. M80, definitely. We enjoy our M80. There's another 855. There's another M80 here. Not a fan of the... Well, that's the 762 by 39 BP. We will probably use that again. We'll hang on to the PST because that's fun little runs. The PMM. Even though the PMM is a good round, I don't know if I'll ever actually remember to use it. So... We'll just kind of leave that as is. Uh, we're done with the PS rounds. We still have a little bit more BT. Do we have another stack of that somewhere? We have a plenty of M80 here, so that's good. SNB we'll hang on to. Uh, everything else is just kind of... I don't know if this 193 is better or worse. Subsonic. If I was using a silencer, that'd be better, but I'm not generally. Uh, the M62, M61, I am not a fan of. And the shotgun shells, I can get a dime a dozen at uh, Jaeger. So, 
Uh, I guess we can hang on to the Luger just as a extra stack if we ever buy some more. But really, if you're using Luger at that point, you're using this, right? You're just, you're using the APs. I guess there's not really a reason to hang on to them. Do a quick filter. Just see how much they're going for. Yeah, well, where'd they go? Oh. I'm just blind, it's fine. Go ahead and put these up for 400 around. Just so somebody can have fun killing somebody else with them. And everything else here, we're just going to sell. We're not going to use it. So those we're going to sell to Peacekeeper. And we very, very slowly continue leveling him up. What's this? A new gas block? No, it's a... That's a little aim point. All right. I really should go through and see what all they changed with the new update. I heard they did some interesting things with interchange. Some people like it, some people don't. But you know what? Change can be good. Change can be good. So that is the bang box. Bang box is good, pokies are good, the pew pews are good. The papers, well, go ahead and get up here and just kind of clean this up real quick. And our dollary dues right there. All right. Hmm. How could we even that out? I don't know which one's better, to be honest. <laughs> but that's all right. So. We can go ahead and take our docks case here and just fill her up. And now we have our storage for our other keys. And I'm going to go ahead and sell one of these because I really don't need them both. I have an almost barely used one. How much were they going for? 147, so we'll do... 148. I already have one in here that still has 45 charges plus an extra one here. There's no real reason for me to hang on to it. And we'll just put that right there. That works out pretty well. All right, so then we'll move our water and food up right there. The balalas we shall bring and just start our little collection over there for now. All right, we can put this back on. I do believe we are done with that. All right, so let's go ahead and start ordering these guys. All right. Then let's go ahead and put our backpacks over here. Put those up top since we're gonna trade those in and then we can actually move this up here like so. Bring these guys right down here. Armor, armor, armor. The filters, I guess we could just put inside of the lucky scav junk box for now. Ooh, no. Let's fix that. There we go. All right. And there's our key money. Beautiful. So... In organizing our stash and cleaning out some stuff, we have basically made 
a million rubles. That's not bad. We had we got a dox case out of it. We got a lot of space back. All right, so let's go ahead and finalize this by getting some fuel. So we are going to go for this particular fuel. It's interesting how even though I have minimum condition 100, this still shows up with zero. Gotta be very careful. Well, I could have gotten that, but it's too late now. They go like hotcakes. Okay. There we go. So now we have two fuels. We'll take those into the hideout. And then we'll go ahead and start this production. And in 50 minutes, we will have two new IFACs. And it didn't use the ones that I had designated. Sad day. Saddest of days. All right. So I do believe we have once again cleaned up our stash. It's looking pretty nice. It's looking a little barren, truth be told, but uh, I'm fine with that because we've been we've been doing pretty well lately. I think we'll I think we'll be okay. So with that, I thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you when we return to experience the new patch. Adios.